yeah. it's not a period you go into the transition then you are now looking oh these people will need this mm. they will need no it doesn't mm. work out that so way so the yeah. uh, the digital you're saying in a couple of weeks what should we be expecting to see in a couple of weeks we expect to see the inauguration of this digital and thereafter it will start it will hit the ground running because all the own work has been done okay just for the benefit of those at home who may not know the difference between analog and um, digital, digital yes. what is the what is the added benefit which is making us transit to digital what are they going to get well let me, let me go straight uh, the added de benefit uh, will be more programs we okay. seated here on this set and um, this transmission is reaching home via a channel that takes eight megahertz of the spectrum now this same channel this single channel and this program in the digital platform they will have a, t a program like this about 12 or 15 out available meaning that this eight megahertz can be used to produce and transmit more than 10 channels that will be available at home. On the digital platform, you receive audio signal as clear as you're playing a CD. And you have picture quality as clear as you have a DVD or you have a Blu-ray play machine. So, and you have opportunity to have electronic program guide. You have opportunity to record a program while you are watching another one. Like um, HD? Like HD. Okay. No, it's, it, you, you, uh, uh, HD, you see have standard definition, yes. and you have high definition, which yes. is HD. Yeah. So, but whichever way it is, because it is digital, you can record, you can stop a program midway, and Rewind. maybe a few seconds, and say, I missed that goal. Oh. I want to take a look. Without the station showing you uh, a, replay, a replay, you yes. can also do your replay. You so can HD also contribute. a big deal. It stops. HD standard definition, they are all uh, digital platform. Mm. It's only one has more definition, more clarity of picture than the other. But essentially, when we talk digital, you can record. Uh, and of course, we all have smartphones. They are all digital phones. When you compare them to the earlier Sajem and Co., you see the difference and the several things you can do. And yeah. As digitization takes over, you find out that you can have internet facilities making use of your screen as display unit for your internet. All you need to do is add a keyboard. And of course, we have seen smart televisions around, which also enables you to do that. That is what uh, digital enables you to do. And with more program, you then take, you take decision which program you want to watch because you have several of them. So okay. as uh, NBC celebrates 20th anniversary, oh. uh, what will be the way of celebration? What are we doing as uh, part of that celebration? Well, we're going to spend the rest of the month and up to October celebrating broadcasting. Cakes coming our way? <laughs> well, well, we're going to launch uh, the latest code. And I think um, in October, we were all in uh, Uyo. We debated all the provision in the code. Uh, before then, for three months, it had been on a, a, a website where people studied, made contribution. We took their con contribution uh, into consideration. And a few things here and there had been changed. The industry is a dynamic industry. Therefore, regulation has to be dynamic. So these things have changed. Uh, on the 24th, 24th of August, the birthday of the commission itself, we're going to launch the code. There's going to be a kind of uh, symposium in Abuja. Uh, thereafter, we will go around stations, we will talk about digitization. And then in October, we will have a biennial conference called Africas, and we'll showcase the best of the best of equipments on digital domain, what digitization will bring home to people. All African, bro most African broadcasters will be there, will be able to change, exchange uh, ideas and views about uh, uh, broadcasting, about content. We believe uh, digitization will errad 
more program so content becomes again critical we know that uh, in the industry content is the king and now we'll have more we'll break the kingdom into several <laughs> parts we have more kings in the industry yes. and each one of them must have a crown so we must be prepared yeah. for this okay yeah. all right thank you well, very congratulations much. will yes. be in order thank you very to much to you and to us who are yes. also in the industry who are part of all this um, we wish you all the best during the celebrations. Thank you very much. So and um, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. So as final word as we wrap up, what will be your message to the viewing public? And possibly if you want to throw a few words towards government in terms of the support and necessary support for the future. I represent government, so I'm <laughs> throwing words to myself. <laughs> well, uh, for the viewers, I'd like to say thank you. Without the viewers, there is no broadcast station. Without broadcast station, there is no regulator. I'd like to thank you. I'd like to assure you the industry is doing all it can. I'd like to assure you we'll keep on bringing you local content that are relevant to your needs, that are relevant to our culture and relevant to our society. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Well, we've been speaking with uh, Engineer Yomi Balariwa, who is the Director General of National Broadcasting Commission, our regulator, who has been making sure that we told the line so that we do the deeds that will make you happy at home. Uh, thank you very much, sir. It's thank great you having very you much. here. Thank you. Well, uh, sunrise is not gone yet. We still have um, another 15 minutes ish, as they say. So we'll be back shortly with more interesting conversation for you. Don't go away. <laughs>